Greetings, fellow gorehounds, and welcome back to a blood splattered vlog. I'm the horror guru. And I'm Count Dracula. And today we're going to talk about Cocaine Bear, the latest film loosely based on a true story about a bear that ate a shit ton of cocaine and died. But, uh,. The movie's a little different. Yeah. In the movie, the bear doesn't eat a shit ton of cocaine and die. The bear eats a shit ton of cocaine and kills a shit ton of people. Search for more cocaine. In the search for more cocaine. So really, this is an art film that is an exploration on addiction and how it affects... No, no, this is the it's a pure... Fa it's a family picture. It's, it's a pure, pure exploitation. Pure exploitation fun. But it actually takes its characters pretty seriously yeah, for the yeah, most yeah. part. For the most part, it takes the characters pretty seriously. You've got basically two things happening. It's all about family. Mm-hmm. You got a little girl who's running away from the cocaine bear, but is now lost in the forest. They got to find her. The mom who's trying to find mom her. Mom who's trying to find and her. And her best friend that's trying to find her. Yeah, and the little girl's best friend who is also helping the mom try to find the kid. And then you got the other plot, which is Ray Liotta's son yep. <laughs> has been told that he has to go get the cocaine. Yep. <laughs> because the bear finds the cocaine because the cocaine had been lost. Ba plays. Basically, Ray Liotta plays a drug lord guy. His son must go get the cocaine because he's kind of sick of his son's shit. Yeah. His son's been grieving the death of, I guess, his wife. His wife or girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like, he has a kid. Yeah. We, we don't see the kid very much, but and, we know he's there. And so he sends one of his men with his son to go retrieve the cocaine so that his son could be useful. That is the part of the plot in which the characters are probably like the most overtly funny. Yeah. But it's mainly like banter. It's not like the characters are goofy themselves. It, yeah. It's the banter between the characters, like a buddy cop kind of situation where you have like the, the drug lord's son who's kind of like the hippy dippy. Oh, I don't want to do this anymore. Oh, I don't want to hurt people. Yeah, I don't yeah, yeah. He's constantly crying about his girlfriend. And yeah. then you have like the take no shit badass who's his best friend. Yeah. Who's just, just like, sick oh of his friend's shit. God. <laughs> he's just sick of his friend's shit. He, he definitely has that Danny Glover like I'm too old for this shit kind of vibe going on but instead of being yeah. too old for this shit he's just sick of this yeah, specific shit he's played shit. by Ice Cube's son actually yep, he who, is who played Ice Cube in Straight Outta Compton yep <laughs> And he's great in this. Oh, yeah. He's great. You totally yeah, buy yeah. him as both this guy's friend and as just the badass he turns out to yeah. be as the movie goes on. Yep. <laughs> um, uh, this movie has a very high body count. It does. A lot of people die to Cocaine yeah. Bear. It also has beloved character actor Margot Martindale. Yes. As the park ranger. <laughs> she's and great. She's She's great. Yeah. Like, Margo Martindale is now taking all the roles that, remember in the 80s, like, the, the woman who played, like, the evil mom from the Goonies? Yeah. You know, how she was in everything? Yeah. Like, that's starting to turn to Margo Martindale. <laughs> You know? I can see that. I can see that. In this, she basically plays this park ranger who's really trying to get laid, but this damn bear gets in the way. Yeah. <laughs> and things don't go well for her. No. They, they, they don't go well. It's also got, um, I forget the dude's name, but he's one of the Daily Show contributors. And yes. he plays the sheriff who's trying to track down the cocaine. Yes. And try to link it back to the drug lord that he's trying to catch because he's trying to catch Ray Liotta. Yep. And uh, he has a whole plot involving this new dog that he's got. Yeah. That doesn't play fetch. <laughs> there is a surprising amount of plot in this movie. There's a lot. Yeah. This you movie know? <laughs> has way more plot than a movie co called co Cocaine Bear should have. Yeah. Yeah. But it works. It works. The only complaint I have with the entire movie, honestly, is sometimes the pacing's a little off because there is so much plot. Yeah, it gets a little wonky because you're like, oh, yeah, I almost forgot about these characters. Yeah. There needs to be a, like, like a slightly better balance of cocaine bear shenanigans to the plot shenanigans. Yeah. Like, I know, like, you shouldn't do this, but I feel like every 10 minutes, a cocaine bear should do something. That's yeah, I, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're sort of like, wait, we haven't seen cocaine bear in a hot second. Mm -hmm. Like, what's, what's going on with cocaine bear? Exactly. You but know? it's a minor complaint in the uh, grand scheme of things, because overall, I had a blast with this film. Yeah, yeah, because 
there is actually plenty of cocaine bear. There, there is. is quite a lot of and it. And the stuff you get with cocaine bear is ridiculous and it's hilarious to watch. It is a CGI creature created by Weta Workshop. Yeah, yeah, you could tell it's like motion captured from yeah. a dude in a costume. And know? what I like about it is they don't try to make it 100% photorealistic. It's more animated than trying to be yes. photoreal. Yeah, it's like animated, but it doesn't talk. Exactly. You know, the weird combination of it's still like having like photorealistic fur, but expressions that like are very cartoony. Yeah. It's kind of hard to get a bear to like sniff cocaine onk man. It is. You know it I mean? really is. One well, of the things I like about this movie is that at its heart, it is really stupid grizzly. It is. It's really stupid well, grizzly. It's weird. It's like, it takes itself too seriously to be a full-on parody. Correct. But Correct. In many ways, it feels like a parody of movies like Grizzly. Yes. Because it's not really referencing anything. No. It's just... What if we did Grizzly, but Grizzly was all cocaine? Yes, yes. And they just ran with that. And it's not just the bear doing like a rampage on cocaine. It's also like the bear coming down from highs and just doing stupid shit. Yeah. Like there's that funny scene where it comes down from the high and then like eats a, a whole bag of cocaine and then has that moment where it's just laying on the ground scooting. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when the, when, the, when the high is about to kick, when it's about to get the adrenaline rush. Yeah. In many ways, this feels like Grizzly 2. Grizzly 2. Because there's a lot of times in this movie where you're just like, wait, who's in this? <laughs> wait, what just happened? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Also, fun fact about this movie, it's directed by Elizabeth Banks, the actress from yeah. movies like 40-Year-Old Virgin, uh, the Power Rangers movie. She was Rita Repulsa. Yeah. She was Betty in the Spider-Man films. I mean, she was really diva talks when you get down to I mean, it, yeah, she, she know, was way they more called like... called her Rita Repulsa. It's true. She is an actress who's been in a shit ton of stuff, especially comedies, and this is her second feature film that she's directed. The first one was the uh, Charlie's Angels reboot from a few years ago. Yeah, that was okay. Um, which I thought yeah. was an okay, fun yeah. movie. It, it didn't like blow my mind or anything, it, but it, it gave me it what I wanted. Wasn't a, yeah. But this film really truly makes me go, no, I want to see more Elizabeth Thank films. Oh yeah. Like totally, I want to totally. see her do more movies like Cocaine Bear. And the fact that she's teasing doing Cocaine Bear versus like Meth Head Shark or something. Meth Shark, I would <laughs> totally watch that. And I'm like, that. I, would, I would watch it. I'd yeah, watch it. That's a movie. That is a movie. Now, my other big criticism of this movie is actually a pretty big one. The song Cocaine never actually appears in this movie. I know. White Lines appears. Yes, but not no, Cocaine. But not cocaine. <laughs> Which, you know what? I thought about it, and I realized maybe that was a little too on the nose. Oh. This is what I gotta live with. <laughs> you know. Anyway, my fellow gorehounds, a cocaine bear is exactly what it says on the tin with a little bit more. It's yeah. actually like what it says on the tin plus extra. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? That extra is actually like a good movie. Yeah, like you characters know? you care about, a big cast of characters that are each different, a plot that just kind of gets more and more over the top as it goes on. Yeah, yeah. Especially it's once Ray Liotta himself shows up, it's just... <laughs> It's so weird to think, wait, this is Ray Liotta's last film. Yeah. That is weird. And the movie is dedicated to his memory, yep. which I find myself going, I think that's the way he would want to go. I do have a suspicion, though. There's a moment in this movie where there's this very awkward flashback, but it's like a flashback of a thing that like just happened. And I'm legit oh, wondering like, yeah. if maybe the reason why that scene is so awkwardly done is because they had to like stitch together a couple scenes that they couldn't reshoot because Ray Liotta's gone. I, I I think that's probably exactly what happened. Because I remember yeah. when it happened, it was like jarringly like amateurish when it happened. Yeah. And I was trying to figure out like why they would have done that because the rest of the movie is so competently made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would they do such a weird thing that didn't add anything? And then when know? we got to the end of the movie and it's like this movie is dedicated to Ray Liotta, I'm like, oh shit, that's right. He died. That might be why they had to do that. Yeah. Like they probably couldn't have reshot what they needed to reshot. Yeah. And so, so. they're just sort of like, well, yeah. this is what we got. Because it's not like a full on flashback. It's like a like a quick little flash of a thing that happened. Yeah, and you're just sort of like, well, that was a little 
the hand. But it was one of those like you just saw these characters. It cut to these other characters, and then it cut back to the characters. And these characters are like, remember that thing that happened a second ago? Flash. And you're just yeah. like, wait, hold on. Yeah. This, is, this feels a little weird. Like, was that a flash sideways? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um, Ray Liotta dying actually explains a lot of that because I imagine yeah. anything involving him, if they needed to do any reshoot for any changes made, they couldn't. Yeah. Yeah. He's not there. They, they, know? what they filmed is what they got. Yeah. With that in mind, it was like, oh, yeah. No, that's actually, that's fair. That's you know? fair. That's totally fair. You if know? that's why that scene is that. Yeah. Awkward. Like, how to put it. If you're worried about, like, the structure of the flashbacks, it ain't that kind of movie. <laughs> you know? It's really like the only moment where something like that happens. Yeah. The rest of yeah. the movie is actually really well constructed and the way it balances jumping from character to character in their scenarios. It does make Cocaine Bear seem a little superhuman in its ability oh, to teleport yeah, around yeah, this exactly, place. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> but at the same time, it's a slasher movie with a cocaine bear. Jason Voorhees does the same shit. Yeah, exactly. He's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And if that doesn't sell you on this movie, this is a, basically a slasher film, but the, it's a bear on cocaine that's yes ultimately what this is yes if you haven't seen cocaine bear yet you really should go see it it is currently available in theaters i don't think it's on any video on demand service yet but when it is if you didn't see it in theaters definitely rent it because it is an awesome it's, film it's it's it's, it's exactly what you think it is. It's exactly what you think it is. Unlike Pieces. Unlike Pieces. That's true. Pieces isn't exactly what you no, think it is. No, Pieces is not what you fucking expect. <laughs> You're like, it's exactly what you think it is. You're like, I think it's about a guy with a chainsaw hacking women up. Funny enough, that's not actually what it's about. There's more to it. There's way more to it. There's more to it. No animals, I think, are, are you know. No, no, there's moments where you think it's going to happen, but yeah, no animals yeah. get harmed in this except for humans. Humans, yeah. Humans. A lot of human death. And they get slaughtered. Yeah. The, when people are killed by cocaine bear, it is a bloody affair. And yeah. I... Mwah, I loved it. All right, so with that said, my fellow gorehounds, let us move on to the spoilers. <laughs> Margot Martindale's death was probably my favorite. Oh, man. Because, because it's it, a prolonged one. Yeah, it takes a while. Like, you think she's going to die in her initial scene where she just gets bitten in the ass. Yeah. But then she, like, goes all the way back to her fucking, uh, the, uh, um, the station or the whatever. The station, yeah. yeah. She goes back to her station. And then there's the whole, like, the bear's at the door. And so she's got a gun to the door, but she makes one of the teenagers go open the door and she accidentally shoots the shoots teenager. The teenager. <laughs> And then, like, the paramedics arrive, and they come in and find her on the floor all bloody, and the bear is in the other room eating one of the teenagers. And then it just keeps going from there up until there's a fucking chase with the ambulance and the bear chasing the ambulance, and she's all strapped to a gurney and yeah. flies out of the fucking ambulance and, and face plants. Face plants on the ground. <laughs> it slides. Oh. It's one of the most brutal and gnarly deaths in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a perfect punchline. Yes. And that's not even the end of that scene. That scene keeps going. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's just the end of that character. Now, of all the characters in this movie, the paramedics I felt the most bad for. Well, yeah, because like they're just like, hey, we're just here to help some. Apparently, it was something about a concussion. Yeah, and they're just not prepared for cocaine bear. Because it's, it's like it's hard to feel too bad about the drug dealer guys, right? Right. E even though that you do care about them, like as a friends, you know. Yeah, Margot Martindale. Yeah, like she just abandons those kids. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's just a complete bitch. <laughs> You know, and she shoots that teenager. So you don't really feel bad for her. And the teenagers are just pieces of shit. shit yeah, they're just they're just a body count. Yeah. <laughs> so um, when the paramedics arrive, that's the moment where you like have characters that you know do not deserve any of this. Yeah, just getting the most gruesome of deaths. Oh, well, it's also great because like that whole like cocaine bear chasing the ambulance. Oh my scene. god! Because the bear could keep up with them because it's on cocaine. It's on cocaine. It gives it superpowers. Yeah. <laughs> like how it can teleport around this entire fucking res reservation. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, boop, boop, yeah, boop, boop. I fucking oh. or national park, whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. One of those. <laughs> oh, man. No. So fun. Now, there's some twists and turns in this movie, because as it turns out, Cocaine Bear is a lady bear. So Cocaine Bear, it turns out, is also a mother. <laughs> So there's yep. cocaine cubs in this movie. <laughs> yep. And they're adorable. 
I wanted to take one home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you but you know that they're just there so that Ray Liotta could kick them in the face yeah. and then get eaten by cocaine bear. Yep, yep. You're like, oh, I see where this is going. Yeah. <laughs> I think the saddest death in this movie had to be the sheriff guy, though. You know? Yeah, 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 he yeah. Does, he doesn't get, like, an epic cocaine bear death. He's killed because of the whole drug situation happening in this with Ray Liotta and yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. But he was definitely one of those, like, two months from retirement kind of characters. Oh, yeah, that's the whole deal with his character. He's <laughs> like, he's two weeks from retirement. The guy who's yeah. actually too old for this shit. Yeah. <laughs> he should not be here. <laughs> no. You know, like, poor dude. <laughs> And he comes face to face to the guy that he's been trying to catch this whole time, but it's too late. He's already shot. You know, yeah. it's like, aww. Yeah, it's like, ah, well, you know, whatever. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> now, a character that I wasn't sure how much I was going to like, but I ended up really liking at the end is the mom with the yeah. little kids. Because I really like the little kids. The kids are fucking great. Yeah. The entire scene where they're trying cocaine by eating it. Yeah. It's hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's cocaine. Oh, okay. Well, I do it all the time. Oh, really? How do you do it? Oh, you, well, you, you eat it. Okay. Well, then try some. Um, yeah. <laughs> and they just get sick. That scene's Cause... hilarious. <laughs> but the mom, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about because that character could I either be really cool or really annoying. Yeah. Or just forgettable. That's the other aspect. Yeah. And when you get to the end of the movie and like by the time she's got the gun, I'm like, okay, she, she's a little yeah. badass. Yeah. Well, <laughs> the funny thing is, is while the movie has protagonists, the main character really is Cocaine Bear. It really is. Like, I can't think of any single one of the other characters that you would call the protagonist. Weirdly enough, the one that comes closest for me isn't even the kids. It's the dude who has to take the uh, uh, the drug lord's son on this yeah. fucking joyride. Yeah, I know what you mean. That guy, for whatever reason, maybe it's just because he's the character while watching the movie I identified with the most. <laughs> But for the entire time, it's just, his entire day is like, I can't fucking believe what I have to deal with. But what's funny about it is that he's not actually personally invested in anything in the movie. He's just trying to get his money and running. Yeah. But for some reason, something about him read the closest to being a main character. But like, yeah, you yeah. can make like an argument. him or the mom. Yeah, you, you can know. make an argument for the mom, too. Well, the real main character is clearly cocaine yes. bear. Because that's the one they're all interfacing with. And of course, it's one of those movies where once Ray, Ray Liotta shows up, he's the surprise twist real villain of the movie. Right. And Cocaine Bear must save them from Ray Liotta. Yes. Yes. And Ray Liotta, man, like if this is going to be your last movie, at least in your last movie, you get an amazing final death. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. He was really good in this. Like, the thing that's so fucking funny is I'm looking at this and I'm going, like, it's the most memorable thing he's done since fucking Goodfellas. I know. Ray Liotta's uh, legacy is solidified. Yeah, because yeah, this yeah, movie yeah, exists. yeah. Because of this movie. It's like, oh, yeah, it's Ray Liotta. <laughs> As opposed to, wait, when that guy in Goodfellas, you know, like, I, uh, he's had plenty of really crappy and forgettable films. And this well, could have been oh, one this of them. could have been one of them easy. But it actually worked out. And I was looking at, like, the Wikipedia for it, and I didn't realize this was produced by the guys who made Lego. Lego movie and oh, 21 Jump Street. I didn't know that either. And it makes a lot of sense in retrospect that they produced this. Elizabeth Banks obviously managed to bring it all together too, but I think that combination, because you oh, know, yeah. she knows comedy. She's been in a bunch of comedies. Once again, it's a bunch of comedians making a really awesome horror movie. Yes. Much like Barbarian. Yes. Much like all the Jordan Peele films. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love this movie. This movie's a lot of fun. This movie is a very lean 90 minutes. It's not going to overstay its welcome. No. But and the like, thing is, you get to the end and you're like, man, I need more cocaine. Okay, yeah, yeah. You're like, I am surprised this movie was only 90 minutes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because like, I'm like, this has got to be like hour 45, well, two hours, it's right? It's crammed so much plot into this movie. Yeah, that yeah, there's is so shocking. much going on that you get to the end, you're like, wait, that was 90. Jesus. Yeah. Damn. Well, so what we're saying is this is a really good movie. <laughs> it's a really good movie. I enjoyed the shit out of this movie. This movie definitely was a nice palate cleanser uh, after, after last week. The yeah. last few movies that we've watched haven't been yeah. that great, at least to us. We have not to enjoyed us, they, them. I, I'll tell you what they were. They were Knocked the Cabin and the Outwaters. I yes, both of them. exactly. Yeah. So this movie was a nice breath of fresh air because I was worried. After two in a row, I was like, oh, God. Oh, God. Are we going yeah. are, are to get three strikes? We're out. And, and it turns out, no, this movie, it killed the uh, losing streak. This movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. This movie delivers. Absolutely. This and movie delivers. After Cocaine Bear, we watched another movie that was pretty awesome that we're going to vlog after this. Mm. So uh, stay tuned for when that's going to be uploaded. And uh, with that said, uh, any final Cocaine Bear thoughts? Dude, 
It's it's the cocaine est. It's the cocaine. It's cocaine horrific. It's cocaine tastic. Absolutely. It's bear, bear, bearific. You know, it's awesome. Hey, it is the bear maximum. <laughs> you can follow me on Twitch at uh, count underscore Jackula, where I'm going to be streaming on Wednesday nights. Y'all know me. I'm the Horror Guru. You can find me at the Horror Guru on Twitter, on Twitch, on Instagram, and Facebook. Just be sure to look up the Horror Guru or Blood Splatter Cinema, and I'll be there. I almost lost it, but I didn't. Yep. I didn't. You did. Yep. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that notification bell so that you're notified of my videos immediately upon their upload. And if you'd like to help out either of us more directly, be sure to check out our Patreon pages. And remember, if you decide to go the Patreon route, even a dollar a month can go a long way. And with that said, my fellow Gorehounds, if you made it this far into the video, Video, I want you to comment below. Be sure to comment below using the hashtag Bear Maximum. I liked that when I said it earlier, so I'm going to use it as a hashtag. Use the hashtag Bear Maximum. That way I know. That way Jack knows. That way the whole world knows. You watch this video all the way through. And with that said, my fellow Gorehounds, we're gonna record one more extremely positive review of a recent horror film that actually deserves a little bit more press. Like yeah. the last few movies yeah. we've watched have been really hyped up. This one's a little bit more underground. Yeah, and Cocaine I, Bear is like a hit at the box. Yeah, this. this next one's gonna be a little bit more of an underground film that deserves more love. So we're gonna, we're gonna shout it out so that you guys can all check it out. So stay tuned for that. And uh, with that said, Peace out, and we'll catch y'all later.